Sun is right in your eyes, boys. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you all for attending our second ever concert here. And this was last night was the first night, and tonight's the last night for them. Uh, in the audience, I have some people who haven't been here before. Some people have been here lots of times, and I thank everybody for coming tonight. Um, before I introduce the Flummies, I'd like to introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Karen LeJourde, and I'm the site supervisor here, and this is my 28th year since the doors opened. So, God, I love my job. Uh, I'm also privileged to introduce my staff, who are always there and show great pride in their job, and together we make a great team. So, interpreters Lisa Fudge, Kim Snow, Christine Freak, who can't be here tonight, and also students Brady Pierce, who's back for this is his third year, and first year student Robin Nicholas. So give them a round of applause, guys. The staff are great here. I'd also like to thank uh, the Ock Island Winery for partnering with us for this event. And there will be a sampling of some wine inside of the most popular and best that they sell. Nicole, the manager, and Donna are here with us tonight. And just to let you know, for those of you who want to buy a bottle, $17, cash only, and you can buy it and take it home. Don't drink it here and drive, though. Um, also, a shout out to Aunt Sarah's Chocolate in Trinity for providing us with samples tonight, and they ship worldwide. They have an awesome product with an awesome taste. And the samples, you'll get one or the other of a milk chocolate caramel or a Trinity Sunrise, which is dark chocolate and real orange centers. Also, the Flummies will be selling CDs during the break, and they're $20, and you can get them autographed if you want. So we're going to do a 45-minute set, then we're going to do a 20-minute break, and you can come in and get some samples of wine and, and a sample of chocolate, and if you want to buy a CD or talk to the band, and then we'll come back and do another 45-minute set. I'm just going to introduce the Flummies. For those of you who don't know, the Flummies began in 1978 in Happy Valley Goose Bay and have recorded eight albums of original material, singing songs inspired through life living in the wilderness of Labrador. They are prominently known for recording and preserving the historical, cultural, and traditional songs of Labrador. The indigenous influences of the Innu, the Inuit, and the Métis people have been intertwined over the last 250 years to produce songs which tell stories of the people who have survived hard times and have been seen all the beauty that Labrador landscape has to offer. Their name comes from the traditional Labrador trapper's bread that is made using a mixture of flour, salt, and baking powder. The Flummies have sold thousands of albums and have performed around the province of Newfoundland and Labrador and many festivals and conferences. Included in their touring was a five show performance in Germany and 28 shows at the base of the CN Tower. They have been nominated for many prestigious music awards and in 2002 they won the Aboriginal Artist Group of the Year by the Music Industry Association of Newfoundland and Labrador. And in 2009 they won the Aboriginal Recording of the Year at the East Coast Music Awards. They are soon to release a new album, and I'll let the band tell you about that. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Flummies, Leander, Eugene, Richard, and Simeon. <laughs> Microphone. Hi folks, well, so nice to see your smiling faces up here in the sunshine, yes, good weekend, yay, gotta love it, gotta love it, hey. So and you gotta love music outdoors in the summertime, because that's the festival feel, right? And it is come home year, so Flummies jumped in the truck and left Goose Bay and got here in about 20 hours. And then we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow, go drive back. But the road is finished, so we're so happy, so hopefully it means that we can spend more time with you fine people. Anyway, the Flummies got started in 1978, and this song was written by a man from over there in Canada Bay, uh, outside there somewhere, uh, Mr. John Hodder. And he was working for the telephone company, and they were building towers, sending, um, sending the telephone signal north. So, And the closest place to Goose Bay was 45 miles on a hill. So this is a song written about sitting on top of a hill and looking back at Goose Bay in the night. Forty-five miles from Goose Bay, and it sure seems a long, long way. Sitting on top of Mulligan Hill, and the clothes we can be stay. Chopper 
so much there's so many great musicians in our province you know and they can write songs and that's where most of our songs are, are picked up from uh, people's experiences inside the smaller communities on the Labrador North Coast but we all love the accordion for sure they love it up north and we love it down south and uh, we love Harry Hips we're gonna try something called the fight in 59 mm -hmm. 